Hello guys and welcome. In this video, we're going to give you some strategies for the picture description task, which is one of the most common tasks in ICAO English exams. This is AE approach, and let's start up. Happy 724, right? Send him 504, In this installment, we will analyze how to produce a picture description in an organized, eloquent, and efficient manner including picture comparison. We will give you some exercises to do on your own and our all-time favorite tips and pointers for this task. Don't go anywhere. This is a very simple task and it allows the tester to review your ability to produce stretches of language based on a picture universally understandable. It is ideal for checking spontaneous production of language, the use of appropriate vocabulary, grammatical accuracy and versatility with different tenses, the speaker's ability to maintain a constant pace, the capacity to paraphrase or express an idea using different words, and they are also very useful for stimulating discussion and interaction. Therefore, this activity will give you the opportunity to produce at length using technical and non-technical vocabulary, making speculations, considering consequences, among other relevant language strategies that we will discuss in this video. Since this is a time-based activity, which means that you have a certain amount of time to complete it, fluency is key to achieve a great result. So having an organized approach will help you avoid any fluency lapses. The first thing you should do is mention the most obvious and noticeable element of the picture. If there is a crash aircraft on the wrong way, start by saying there is a crash aircraft on the middle of the wrong way. Describe the aircraft in a general way, and also try to figure what type of aircraft it is, and mention how you were able to identify it. Be as precise as you can when you describe the photo itself. Describe the environment of the situation using position language. Mention as many elements of the picture as you can. Use relevant vocabulary when describing parts of the aircraft, airport vehicles, airport parts, and any other elements you see in the surroundings. If there are people in the photo, describe their appearance and who they might be. If you don't know the name of something, try to explain it in other words or try to say, what is it for? Also, try to speak in different times. Describe what is happening, what the people are doing, where are they going, any procedure that is taking place. Always use expressions to demonstrate uncertainty. Sometimes you can't be sure about what is happening. Use expressions like, I think, I guess, I suppose. It's not very clear, but perhaps, maybe, it seems like, it looks like, and others. Try to think about the origins of the situation and explain what you think might have or could have happened to result in the present event. Use your technical knowledge to analyze the situation, referring to the possible reasons and explaining any technical elements involved in the most general English way possible. Think about the future too. What is going to happen next? Where will they go? What will they do? Also, think about what has already happened. Furthermore, draw a conclusion from the situation and provide your personal opinion. Think about the kind of situation in the photo and use describing words. Is it dangerous, difficult, stressful, risky, or precarious? What could be the consequences and how it should be managed? In this picture, we see a British Airways 777 based on the shape of the tail cone that is crashed in the middle of the runway. The most noticeable feature is that the aircraft is flat on the ground without any visible landing gear and the left wing is almost completely severed from the fuselage, indicating a possible belly landing and a very strong impact on touchdown, or a very hard landing that led to a landing gear collapse. We can assume that the condition of the right wing is no different from the left one. Another thing is that there aren't any visible signs of fire. I suppose that the aircraft experienced some type of landing gear malfunction or failure during the approach and the pilot was forced to land without the landing gear. 
or the landing gear collapse after touchdown due to a high amount of energy. We also see that all the emergency slides have been deployed and the presence of firemen and rescue personnel around the aircraft. A large group of firemen is next to uh, one of the slides, most likely waiting for the passengers to start evacuating the aircraft. There are a couple of fire trucks and emergency vehicles near, ready to act in case of a fire or other type of emergency and to take the passengers to a safe location. Due to the damage of the aircraft, this is a high priority situation with a very high possibility of serious injuries or even fatalities, which would require an immediate response from all the emergency and rescue services from the airport in order to manage and prevent the situation from worsening. Some exams also include uh, within this task a picture comparison between two or more images. In that case, we suggest that you do the following. First of all, state the obvious similarities followed by the most obvious differences regarding the focus of the picture. These two pictures are of uh, 747s. One is passenger configured, the other is a freighter after two different accidents. The first one has an evident fuselage raptor, while the second one looks like it suffered a runway excursion. Spot similarities on the type of situation, followed by the differences. Both aircraft are on ground, surrounded by emergency equipment. However, the first aircraft is obviously inside an airport environment, but on the other one, it's not clear if the plane had an emergency landing or it overran the runway but it is not obviously within an airport environment. Differences and similarities regarding the aircraft involved. The first aircraft looks like an airliner from United. However, I cannot distinguish any specific paint due to the black and white picture. In contrast, the second airplane was a Skylease Cargo 747 Freighter with gray and red markings. Similarities and differences regarding the damage. Both aircraft are severely damaged. On the one hand, the first one shows a massive structural damage in the form of a fuselage rupture, revealing the seats and cargo hold inside. The other one shows also structural damage aft of the wings on the engines, which are almost completely destroyed, and the undercarriage collapse under the fuselage. Also regarding possible injuries. On the first picture, the probability of lack of fatalities is almost zero. A breach of that magnitude probably caused the ejection of several passengers and lack of oxygen inside of the fuselage. On top of that, the low temperatures could have also generated certain injuries. On the other picture, the probability of survival is very high. Most likely, there were not any passengers on board and there is no damage to the cockpit. However, the level of stress felt by the crew during the event was probably very high. For our tips and pointers during this task. Number one, avoid providing a list of elements. You have to produce a structure and organize stretches of language. Number two, record and time yourself. Often you will have one or two minutes to speak, so make sure that you mention the most important elements during that time frame. And number three, Push yourself. Try to speak as much as you can. If the tester asks you to stop in order to continue the test, you're doing well. However, all the production must be organized, coherent, and eloquent. Okay, in this episode, we studied the task of picture description and comparison. We gave you structures to follow and exercises in order to practice. And in the end, we gave you our tips and pointers for the exam. At the end of this video, you'll see a couple of pictures that we have attached in order for you to practice. With the exercise that we suggest is that you record yourself describing and comparing the pictures, and after that, listen to yourself and write down the parts that you consider could improve, and then try again. Before this episode ends, we would like to know how difficult do you consider picture description to be and why? Have you ever had to go through one of these tasks? How comfortable did you feel? Let us know in the comments below. Next time on uh, AE Approach, we will discuss the task of audio reporting and audio comprehension, how to produce language from a recording, and how to prepare for it. We will also be answering all your questions and comments. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to receive more content, share with others, hit the like button, 
and leave us a comment giving us feedback and more ideas for future videos. This was AE Approach. We will see you next time.